that is a King George Whiting. Three of probably the freshest and best wraps I'm ever gonna eat. Are you kidding me? I don't think a morning gets any more beautiful than that. Take a look at the colors in that sunrise. But good morning everyone, it is Nev. And today what we are going to be doing is creating the ultimate fish wrap. It is just such a beautiful morning at the moment and I reckon we're gonna have a really good day out. So the first species which we're gonna target for our fish wraps is actually gonna be King George Whiting. So I'm just making my way over to some sand patches and weed beds and then we'll drop the anchor down and see what we can pull up. It's gonna be a good one. All right. Try around here. First light and sunrise is a really good time to chase whiting and any fish in general. So get our first bait out. Just a little bit of squid tentacle on this little circle hook. And we'll just cast this one to the left and we'll cast another one to the right. Get that one out there. Let's get our second bait out. So same thing again, a little bit of squid tentacle and we'll cast this one out to the right. So we'll cover two areas and try locate these fish. Straight away. Oh, a gurnard. That was a gurnard. That was a really venomous fish. Oh, that was a good hit. It's a little bit better fish. That's a whiting. We've got one. Yes! We only just got here. And we've already got a whiting. Pretty sure. We'll get the net out. Yes, definitely a whiting. He's not a bad one for this area either. There we go. We have got one of our ingredients. How good is that? We only just got here. Only been fishing for probably a minute or two and we've already got one of the fish which we're after. That is a King George whiting. And you, my little friend, are gonna be going in some fish wraps. Straight into the cold esky. Cast this one out into the same area. He was out to the right, so I think we're a little bit too much on the sand and the weed bed's to the right over there. Oh, that's on. That's on there. Oh, this could be a little bit bigger. Yes. This could be our second whiting of the day. There we go. He could be size. If he is though, he's only just, he's not a monster at all. Give these whitings some treats for being nice to us. <clears throat> now let's get out of here. So the whiting were pretty nice to us. I'm actually making my way back in. We've got two beautiful fish right here. That is gonna be more than enough fish for the wraps. So we're gonna head back in and I've actually got to go home and get my cooking stuff. So we're gonna go get that and then we're gonna relaunch and go out to a nice little spot. We might also do a couple of drifts for some squid just to add to the whiting. So whiting and squid are my two favorite eating things. So putting them both together in a wrap, I can't imagine how it would be bad. So we'll go back, get the cooking gear, and then we'll relaunch. All right, here we are. We are down at the beach, and now we are gonna prepare and also cook up our wraps. So we've got whiting, that's gonna be one of our fish which we're using and we've also got some squid. So it's actually the squid which I was using earlier for bait. It's that fresh that I could still eat it. So we've got it down here as well. And the first thing which we've got to do is go down and clean them. So we'll go do that. And man, it is so hot today, but absolutely beautiful out. The first thing I'm gonna clean is the King George whiting. So all I'm gonna do is scale them and then we're just gonna fillet them straight away. And with the squid, we'll just clean the tube, but First of all, we'll scale these whiting and then fill them up. That's one done. The second one is a little bit smaller, the baby King George. I'm just now thinking that four whiting fillets plus the squid tube, and on top of that, the wraps and the stuff which we're gonna put in the wraps. That's a lot of food. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to eat it all, but at least we'll have the option to feast. Look at all that ink. Squid are so messy. Now with the squid, all we're gonna do is separate the hood from the head and the guts. So that'll just pull out like that. Bang, probably use that as bait for snapper later on. So we'll put that aside. So a lot of people do calamari rings, but I like to cut it down the middle like that 
and just open it up just so I can clean the insides a little bit better. So I don't do rings, I just do strips. And there's the squid tube done. So now we'll fill it up these whiting. We don't need a lot of squid, we've got a lot of whiting to eat, so it's probably the perfect amount. I am not a professional filleter. I rarely keep fish, so I don't fill it too often, but we should be able to get a couple nice fillets off this whiting. There's one fillet. Second fillet, so we don't need the carcass, obviously. Throw that away. Onto the second whiting. Obviously it's a little bit smaller, but still be some nice little fillets. Second lot of fillets off the whiting. With the squid, all we'll do is cut that into strips. So we'll have those little strips in the wrap as well. All right, so they're all done. So we've got the King George whiting on the right and then the calamari on the left. So this little tidal pool here is all salt water. So we'll just give everything which we cut up a rinse in the salt water. All right, we're ready to get into the cooking. Let's get into it. This is the fun part, the cooking part. Just in advanced, I am not a chef. So you can nitpick me all you want, but you can give me advice. And I'm gonna do a lot more cooking in the future. So I will use this advice in the future as well. Every good chef uses a lot of oil. Let's get everything prepared while that oil's heating up. So we've got everything. We've got wraps, we've got spinach, we've got carrot, we've got special sauce, we've got it all. So we'll just do a little bit of preparation. We'll get our first wrap ready. The wraps are on fire. Now, one thing we'll also do is coat all our squid and fish in a little bit of flour and a little bit of salt and pepper. So it's just a little mixture. I was gonna bring some egg, but I forgot. So we'll just coat that straight into the flour and straight into the salt and pepper. Now with King George Whiting, I actually like the skin. So I've left the skin on. We didn't skin these. So they're gonna be nice and skinny. Very messy. I'm definitely not an expert at cooking, but I do know that King George Whiting take a lot longer to cook than squid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the whiting on first, and then after we flip the King George Whiting over, then we'll put the squid on. Cause squid cooks very fast. So we'll start off with the whiting. Nice and sizzly. Oh, that oil is very hot. Sprinkle a little bit more salt and pepper on that fish while it's cooking as well, just to give it a little bit more, a little bit more flavor. Doing Gordon Ramsay proud today. Bit of spinach, bit of carrot. So that's gonna be the very basic and pretty healthy base for our wraps. So we've got some garlic aioli on the bottom, we've got some spinach and then we've got some carrot. Oh, that's ready to turn. Look at that. That is golden. I think we'll get the squid on there as well. Oh, the calamari just started sizzling. So with squid, the key is to not cook it for very long. So we're only probably going to do a minute or 30 seconds on each side, and that'll be more than enough. Flip that back over, and that'll be where we'll put our wraps. Hey, stop that. All right, we'll just break that in half just to see if that's done. That's done. Boom. Turn that gas off. It is all done. That didn't take long at all. So we get the big bit. That looks very, very good. We'll also get a strip of calamari and put that on top as well. In fact, we might as well do two strips. To finish it off, we'll put a little bit more sauce on top and a bit more spinach. We'll fold her up. That looks absolutely delicious. Damn, and we've still got one more to make as well. We'll try a bit of the calamari before we make the next one. Wow. It's so tender. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a day and a bit old, but yet it was so tender still. That's really, really good. These are going to be so, so good. Number two. Might as well use all the spinach. Look how green that one is. A lot of spinach in that bad boy. That's what we want. We've got three massive wraps to destroy. <laughs> this is only lunch too. This is a huge lunch. I am super, super happy with how these things turned out. Take a look at that. 
three of probably the freshest and best wraps I'm ever gonna eat. King George Whiting and Calamari. So these things are gonna be delicious. We've also got some, what do we put in here? We put garlic and aioli sauce thingo. We put some spinach and some carrot. So very, very healthy little wrap right here. And let's try it. I'm definitely not the best at discussing flavors which I'm tasting, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste good. Let's give it a go. I was a little bit curious to see how the squid and the whiting would go together in the same wrap, but it tastes absolutely amazing. It kind of all just blends together into one. The whiting's cooked perfectly as well. I can't believe how well it works. There's a little bit of a better look. You can see the King George whiting and the squid sitting just on top of the whiting and it, it just works really well together. All right, let's try the one with just whiting and then we'll wrap it up. My GoPro just overheated, that's how hot it is. You can definitely taste the difference. There's not as many different flavors and different textures. It's just whiting, I guess, so. Both really good though. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up there, everyone. So we've eaten two out of the three wraps. We've still got this bad boy left. We're gonna eat that now, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I actually had a lot of fun doing this catch and cook. So if you wanna see more, and let me know by leaving a like on this one. Also comment future recipes or what fish you want to see me catch and cook in the future. Comment those ideas below and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.